Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on direct and inverse proportionality. We'll cover the basics of both in this video, but first of all, what is direct proportionality? Uh, well, if we have two quantities which are directly proportional to one another, so let's say A and B, uh, then A, as A increases, uh, B also increases, but importantly, they increase at the same rate. So for example, Jeremy uses 400 grams of flour to make eight muffins. How much flour would he need to make 30 muffins? Well, the first thing we can do here is we can divide 400 grams of flour by 8. So 400 divided by 8 uh, equals 50. Uh, so that's 50 grams of flour, and that's the amount that we need to make one muffin. Uh, so now, uh, when we scale this up uh, to 30 muffins, we just times 30 by 50 grams. Uh, so that's the amount for 30 muffins, which is 1,500 grams of flour. Uh, for the 30 muffins. So in this case, uh, the amount of flour you need is directly proportional to the amount of muffins that you have. So moving on then, what about inverse proportionality? Well, if you have two quantities which are inversely proportional to each other, so let's say A and B again, then as A increases, B decreases at the same rate. So if you double A, uh, you scale down B by a factor of two. So in other words, uh, you half the value of B. So for example, six builders can build 10 houses in 30 months. How long would it take 18 builders to build the same number of houses? So the first thing we can do here uh, is we can work out the amount of time it would take one builder to build the 10 houses. So if there's six builders and it takes them 30 months, then one builder would take six times as long. So that's 180 months. And so now uh, we can, now this is kind of like a value for the total amount of working hours it would take one builder. So let's just divide this by the number of builders we have now. So 180 divided by 18 is 10. So it would take 10 months if there were 18 builders. So in this example, the amount of time it would take is uh, inversely proportional, sorry, to the number of builders that we have. If you want to get some more practice with direct and inverse proportion, then you can have a go at our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at, this is a really good way of doing it. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.